words, manipulation, how does the gun work? And when I say, how does a gun work? I need for you to think of it this way. I need for you to be able to look, okay, at a white spot on the wall and visually, okay, operate this rifle so that you know trigger, safety, magazine release, bolt release, charging handle, okay? You need to be able to run this rifle. The fancy college educated thing is called mental imagery. And as soon as you think, I, yeah, I got it, I got this, do it left-handed. <laughs> then as soon as you got it, right-handed and left-handed, do it upside down with the magazine facing you, nose-wise. That means you're on the ground, shot through the right elbow, you're in a bad spot, you're trying to put a tourniquet on, and you're trying to reload your empty rifle. Now we are manipulating the rifle. Okay? So everybody gets what's going on here. It isn't just, oh yeah, I got this, you know. Anybody can load the rifle, but can you load it when you're in a bad spot, okay? So run it right hand, left hand, upside down. I loaded it in the dark, okay? Most things won't be like we practice on the range, all right? In other words, uh, think about a bigger picture rather than just inside this bubble of I'm magnificent now. There is another one that I'll talk to you about, okay, and I need for you to think about this. All of you need to understand there is no reason for you to believe that you will always fight with your gun. And if it's a big ass fight, there'll be lots of guns on the ground and you wanna know how to run guns other than your guns, okay? And it's a really important issue. So like, you know, guy goes like, there was some a time when I was a younger man that there was a guy that went on a bus subway thing in New York City, and I believe it was a Ruger. He took the gun in and shot a whole bunch of people and the gun ran out of ammo. So he's sitting there putting rounds in a magazine to reload it when the, the people decided they had enough and they jumped him and windmilled the shit out of this guy and took the gun away. And it was funny, okay? Not humorous, because there were dead people, but funny because someone interviewed one of the people and they go like, why didn't you shoot the guy back? And the guy goes, I didn't know how to load the gun. Yeah, think about that. That would be the perfect shooting. You could shoot this guy like, Reload the mag, shoot them again. You know what I'm talking about? It would be the perfect, oh yeah, you'd be a hero. And yet you to, 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 but I didn't know how to load a gun. Make sense? Okay, great. If you I, thought someone was in your house, as would be appropriate, I think, okay, something's not right. If something's not right, dial 911. My name is, my address is, I'm in fear for my life. Set the phone down, receiver up. Don't hang up. When you don't hang up, everything that you say from that point forward, okay, is going to be recorded on the phone and is admissible in court. So then in Gary's case, what I said was, is if you lean out and you see someone the length of the hallway that doesn't belong in your house at three o'clock in the morning, okay, and you go, you get out of my house, you're scaring me, I call the police. If the guy started towards you in a threatening manner, okay, I, think a forward motion, momentum on this person's part is active in nature and I construe that to be a threat. I would, if in my mind's eye right then felt that I was in fear for my life, I would defend myself. If at the same time I say to the guy, hey you, get out of my house here, and he turns and runs, I wouldn't shoot him in the back. Let him get out, okay? It's just that simple. That said, a variable, you say, get out of my house. He turns, and as he starts to run, he leans back and starts shooting at you as he runs away. I figure I'm going to be a better shot than he is, and my grandkids are in the rooms next to my room where the bullets are going through. I'm shooting the son of a bitch, okay? And I go, yo, well, you shot him in the back. I shot him in what was available to me while he was discharging his gun inside my house, threatening my family. I shot the son of a bitch, and that's it, and that's the truth. Now, that said, a variable to that, I would not walk down the hallway, screw my muzzle brake in his ear hole, and thump him one more time. Too much. That said... If I was in a hallway in Fallujah, okay, with Marine infantry, and I shot a guy and he was laying in a hallway flopping around doing a dirt snow angel, and we had to go past this guy, 
And I thought there was any doubt in my mind that this guy was not dead. In my miniature military mind, I would shoot this son of a bitch in the head when I walked by him. People go, oh, Jesus, dirty, cruel, mean, and heartless. That's why it's called a war. That's why you don't have rules of engagement. You kill them before they kill you. Oh, that's very unpleasant. Yes, and get over it or bring them home. But you don't send people to a game where there's rules. Our rule, right? What's the rule in, what's the rule in a fight? Win. Simple, three-letter word. 